parts of South Tulsa. Some residents there are wondering if there is really an advantage to below ground power lines and if service is restored faster. But a PSO official told Two Works for You reporter Katie Wisely, not so fast. Katie. Brian and Karen, Thursday's storms knocked out power for nearly 190,000 Oklahomans. Many tonight are still in the dark. That's the night the lights went out in Tulsa. And today, thousands of people are still in the dark. We've been reading by camp light. I've gotten really familiar with a lot of poetry. <laughs> Crews working feverishly to get poles replanted, lines rewired, electricity restored. It may be as late as uh, Monday afternoon before the final customers are restored. In 2007, an ice storm hit Tulsa, causing power to be out for hours and for some even days, prompting discussion from city officials about burying the lines. I was looking at the above ground power lines and they were just starting to drip with ice and getting lower and lower and we were so worried and we could hear popping and cracking of the trees and whatever and I was like, oh, this is all going to go south. Callie Grine is in a new house with buried lines, but it's the same story. She's in the dark, currently powerless. It just seems like because we live here, more of an emergency plan. But PSO officials say moving above ground lines to below ground isn't an option. That's not going to happen because that's just too expensive and you don't get that big of a benefit for doing all that. Light will reach these homes eventually, but many South Tulsans and folks across Green Country are still living by candlelight in this storm's aftermath. Again, PSO officials say the latest you could be without power is Monday afternoon. Katie Wisely, two works for you.